Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about compilation and execution process of Java. Uh, before that, I want to share some information. If you are uh, unable to view uh, this video clearly, you can improve the pixel quality by going into the settings of YouTube. So uh, these are my information. You can use these information for your study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the topic compilation and execution process which we use in Java. So this is very uh, simple. Uh, you might have uh, learned about C and C++ uh, in uh, those languages we also have compilation and execution process. So now I am going to discuss about the compilation and execution process of Java. So in Java uh, programming language all source code is first written in plain text files ending with the .java extension. So in Java source code has extension which is known as .java. So you all know uh, about the source code. The code which we write in a particular programming language is known as source code. So a Java uh, file we have to uh, save with .java extension. Those source uh, files are then compiled into dot .class files by the java c compiler so the name of the compiler which is available in uh, java is java c and after conversion the file which we receive uh, is uh, have uh, which we receive has an extension uh, which is known as dot class so a dot class file does not contain code that is native to your processor it instead contains bytecode so the dot class file is known as bytecode so you can say that after compilation of Java program, we receive bytecodes and bytecodes are saved with dot class extension. Then the Java launcher tool runs your application with an instance of the Java virtual machine. So uh, the, uh, the bytecodes which we want to execute uh, will run under Java virtual machine because the Java virtual machine is available on many different operating systems. The same dot class files are capable of running on Windows, Solaris, Linux or Mac operating systems. So if I uh, conclude this uh, whole process, then first we have to uh, write source code, then that source code will be saved by dot Java extension. Then uh, we have to compile that uh, source code with Java C compiler. Then bytecode is received. That bytecode has extension dot class. Then that dot class file will be executed with the help of Java virtual machine. So bytecodes are platform independent. Means bytecode can run on any machine. But you have to install Java virtual machine for that particular operating system because JVMs are platform dependent. So if you are working on Windows, then you have to install JVM according to window. But the bytecode, uh, suppose you have implemented on Linux, on Linux environment, but it will work on Windows platform as well. So you can uh, view uh, this uh, diagram uh, so that you can easily understand the compilation and execution process uh, which is available in Java. So this my program.java is source code. Then it is compiled with the help of compiler then my uh, program dot class is received. So you have to notice another thing, the program which you save uh, in Java, the uh, dot class file automatically uh, will, uh, will be created with the name of the class which you use in your source code. Then uh, we have to run this dot class file with Java virtual machine and the output will be displayed on the desktop of your laptop or uh, computer. So this is the simple, uh, a process of compilation and execution. Uh, hope you have understood the compilation and execution process of Java easily. So these are my information for your placement purposes. Thank you for watching this video.